okay dear students so let us see what is there in this question now um, a satellite is orbiting earth in a circular path at constant speed three statements about the resultant force on the satellite are number one it is equal to the gravitational force of attraction on satellite the resultant force yeah of course we can say that like because uh, this is let us say this is a planet and this is the orbit for the satellite now obviously this satellite let it be like that <laughs> otherwise diagram will become very difficult okay so this is now moving in a circular orbit so it means that it is being acted upon by a force which is perpendicular to the velocity vector which is acting like centripetal force for this particular satellite otherwise it cannot move in a circular orbit so this is the centripetal force now so what is the first statement it is equal to the gravitational force of attraction on the satellite well yes of course it is equal to the mass of the satellite multiplied by its acceleration absolutely because it's in the circular fashion so you can say that the acceleration centripetal acceleration will be either v square by r or r omega square and when you multiply it with mass it becomes the centripetal force and centripetal force is equal to the gravitational pull on the satellite by the earth so this is also right it is equal to the centripetal force on the satellite yes of course centripetal force is the only force that is acting on the body and due to which it is able to change its direction continuously and it is moving in a circular orbit so according to me the answer will be d that is one two and three all these statements are correct ladies and gentlemen if there is any other doubt regarding this please do mention in the comment section please subscribe to the youtube channel this is Professor Varun. All the best.